I think we're just now getting to the place in society in America where we feel it has to be different everywhere as opposed to only different in, in some places. It really is all of our responsibility to create these creative, innovative, uh, engaged human beings and that that pathway from one kid is going to be very different from another kid. America is not that big of a country and if we're going to compete with everyone else then we can no longer say let's only educate a, a segment of society. We have to educate everyone and we have to educate everyone to be creative and to think about things which means we have to completely overhaul our education system. We have to completely overhaul, overhaul how we think learning happens and where it happens and who's, who's capable of learning. And it's going to be a fundamental paradigm shift, but if we don't do it, we're in trouble. I think in, in, in the industrial society, that probably was not the goal, because the reality is you needed people to do a fixed thing and they, you needed them to do it in a particular way, in a standardized way. But I think where we are with America right now, we don't have that type of industrial society where we're, a majority of people are going to be employed in that way. So you need creativity. We need to figure out where we're going. And you need everyone to be creative, not just, you know, a top 10 or 20% of society. And so we do have to rethink what education is to, to develop that curiosity and that willingness to innovate and explore in our population and in everyone. The old approach is to say, well, I don't need to think about it because we're all going to learn the same way. We're all going to learn these 10 facts. We're all going to read these 10 books and we're going to all write these 10 essays. That's, you know, those days are gone. If we just look at the, the transformation in technology that's happened in the last 10 to 12 years, we know without a doubt it's going to be different. And we know without a doubt they're going to have to be more nimble and more creative in their uses of technology to communicate and to learn. Or if not, they're, they're going to be you know, in a, new, in, in a new form of illiterate. The ways in which we communicate are just dramatically different. And our expectation of, of how we, so which means how we consume media, how we create media, has to be different. You can't live in a world now where you assume that if I can only write and if I can only read text, then I'm going to be successful. So part of it is, is really changing education to say we have to respect these multiple modes of communicating and, and helping people understand what's the proper medium for what it is that they're trying to tell. We're caught in this period of time where we want to use media and have kids use media to, ex to express what it is that they're thinking, but we haven't really truly trained them to use that media. Right? So we might have kids do film projects and visual projects, but they're not really learning how to do that. In, in school settings, they're learning how to do it in out of school spaces if they're learning how to do it at all. And so we're a little frustrated because what they're saying or what they're telling us isn't exactly, you know, in the format we want to see it. But that's just like saying you're going to have a kid write a letter and you've never taught them how to write. And so we're in this period as we're beginning to understand that we actually have to begin to teach these new forms of literacies to a base level of skill, but then we have to be creative in allowing kids to make use of those literacies to, to explore and to tell things in different stories in different ways. There's no longer just a right answer. Right, schools have been about a right answer. It's, n it's not even about the process you got there, but it's about did you get to the right answer. I think learning now is less about the right answer, but it's more about how you got there. How are you thinking about getting there? How do you work with others? How do you connect? How do you find information? And then how do you communicate information in, in a variety of different ways to a variety of different audience? In that sense, you're preparing kids for the reality of the world they're going to enter, not the world that they're in now. And I think that's the dilemma, because this paradigm shift has happened in the lifetime of a, you know, a college freshman today. The world has changed. 